Welcome back, boys and girls. Well, we have a really special treat for you all today because I'm here with my two very best friends, Leonardo the Lion and Funky Monkey. Hello, guys. How are you today? Hi. Not too bad. Not too bad? So did you guys have a good day yesterday? We really had a wonderful day. It was a bit of a surprise day. A surprise? A yeah. surprise. What happened? Well, we was walking down the street, see, and I had a little itch right about here. Right about here? Yeah, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got an itch too. Oh, do you? Yeah, I got an itch too. So Alright man, so like uh, today's guest is uh, Phil, and uh, he's come all the way from Burnaby, and uh, what we're going to be talking about today is how did you ever, ever get that kind of smell on your feet, because I mean there's a lot of people that will try to cultivate a scent. Thank you so much, thank you so much, oh the fans, oh my god, all the little people up there, thank you so much. And to all the big people down here, this is such a such a, a wonderful, wonderful award that you've given to me. And I'm standing on an LA stage, and who would have thought that just a kid from Hamilton could make it this far and accept the Oscar award? I, wow, this is overwhelming. I remember a long, long time ago, my my acting coach in Hamilton giving me so much advice. His name was Benny Boomba, and he said to me, I remember him. I'll never forget. He said. Why is my nose so big, and why do the stars shine so bright? <laughs> and for years and years, that that really guided my acting. I've always I've, I've always said to other actors, "Why is my nose so big?" And that's where I get my inspiration. My movie, of course, The Dragon Always Smiles Twice, was my seventeenth movie. Uh, PD Aroma, and and you've got this man that that's just wafting up and. Oh, it's, a, it's a, an aroma that you'll never forget, man. No, absolutely, oh. man. No matter where I go, I just feel buzzed all the time because I'm just breathing it in, you know, man. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. We had a visitor. You had a visitor? Yeah. Oh, a visitor. Like, a, like, a, like another animal visitor? Well, kind of like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> no. She, well, it was Ooh, a she. It a was lady. A she. A lady visitor. Can you tell I'm blushing? Aw. <laughs> Was it your mom, Leonardo? No. No? Did she bring any food? Did she bring any cookies? Well, uh, well she, um, she took our cookies. That's what she did. She <laughs> took your cookies? Oh, what kind of a visitor takes cookies? Hmm. hmm. Well... Was she really hungry when she showed up? Or she she was really, really hungry, but she was like a rich girl, and I don't know why she took our cookies. She was but, rich, and she stole from you? And then she drank everything in sight. I could not believe it, people. It, was, it was just, oh, it was amazing. Remember, boys and girls, stealing is wrong. She, she drank our milk, and then she drank our juice. And then our punch. So, it's, is she a nice lady? Uh, well, uh... She's kind of a nice lady sometimes, and then sometimes she doesn't remember her own name. <laughs> Especially yeah. when she gets behind the wheel of a car, you know, and drives what? like that. Oh. She drives? What kind of car does she drive? <laughs> she drives a big old expensive Range Rover. That's what she drives. Yeah. And she likes to run it into people, too. Into, <gasps> into people and into light standards and into sidewalks, too, sometimes. Is this a famous lady? Well, of course it's famous. What would you think? Does she have does she have blonde hair like me? And it was a role just to cherish. I remember my first line in that movie. I was so nervous. Um, but the director called me down. But that first line was really, really something else. Uh, I'm sure you all remembered and all you little people up there. The line was, Nobody ever tells me what to wear. That was the line. And... and, and by golly, I, I, I said it with as much conviction as I could, and I think that may have sort of been the reason I won the award. In any event, I should, ha I should really thank the director who, who, who coached me through the whole thing and held my hand. His name was Horace, Horace Hoddenbottom. Of course, you all know Horace. He's sitting up front here, so much Horace. Horace, I owe so much to you. Throughout the filming, all I could think about was 
Sim Sim Saladin. And that was, of course, our little secret between me and you, Horace. Sim Sim means talk, talk. I had a problem sometimes with, with talking on the set. And, and, and I do want to... Well, part of the thing is, is I live in Burnaby, right? Yeah. And living in Burnaby means that wherever you go, the scent of Burnaby, of Burnaby permeates into your feet. Really? Yeah. That's now, why I live there. Do you like, is it the soil or is it just the atmosphere of all the people and the, the growth of, um, growth? Of plants and like growths on my feet. No, like no. Yeah, well, I mean, if that helps with the scent, man, I, I need to know because. Uh, well, like, what's the situation? Well, she has blonde hair sometimes, and then sometimes she has red hair. That's right. She's kind of like the chameleon of the uh, what do you say, the Hollywood types. Was yeah. she was she in a Disney movie? Yeah, she was in a Disney movie, she was in this and that. Boys and girls, I think Lindsay Lohan was visiting with our two friends yesterday. Oh, oh she guessed it. She's as smart as me. How? Oh, she, well, maybe more smarter. She's even more smarter than <laughs> more me. More smarter? Easy now, cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, boys and girls, and we'll be sure to see you right back here tomorrow morning. Bye. See you later. Take it easy, kids. You take a good whiff. You can smell it through the shoe. Oh, yeah, man. It smells a lot like nachos. Oh. And that's because there's that potato chip plant. And I, like, my house, it's, like, under the bridge there. Yeah. You know, in, the, in one of them boxes close by there. Right? Okay. And so that's where I, I got that scent from. And then if you smell this one, you smell that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit like a, a mesh between coconut and salad dressing. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was actually because, you know, when you dive into the dumpsters, sometimes there's stuff in there that get in your shoes. Now, is that ranch or is that uh, Thousand Island? I don't know. I, I tried sniffing the scent and it smells a little bit like... Thousand Islands with maybe a hint of basil. That's got to be like a restaurant dumpster, man. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, All right. Oh, there's lots of good stuff in Burnaby, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. And uh, we're going to come back with more sense in a little bit. Take care, everyone. Oh, yeah. Wait till you try this out. <laughs> I remember just before leaving for Los Angeles, my father telling me, I never have white wine with my raw steak. And of course, those are words that are to live by because here in Los Angeles, if you don't know what wine to have with your raw steak, people are gonna laugh at you. So, so thank you so much, Dad. And of course, last but not least, my fiance, uh, Amanda. Thank you so much, Amanda. You're so, so kind of what I really wanted in a woman. Uh, just before coming over here today in the hotel room, Amanda, gave me a kiss and, and said to me, and lo, the bun shall grow it in the oven on high. We're gonna have a baby. <laughs> We're gonna have a baby, Amanda and I. Thank you so much to the little people and to the big people. Thank you.